Hi there everyone, welcome to Tech Cravers and another Steam Deck emulation tutorial. In this video we're gonna turn this brand new and unused Steam Deck OLED into a portable emulation monster. We're gonna set everything up using EmuDeck and I'm gonna take you through every step. So whether you're new to emulation or if you just need to refresh your memory, following this guide will let you play your favorite retro games in no time. Quick disclaimer, this guide assumes that you can provide your own games for this to work. I used my own game dumps and I won't tell you where you can get yours if you don't know how to dump your own games. To read up more on that subject you can use Google or Reddit to search for help. The best part of this guide is that I'm executing it on an unused Steam Deck OLED. Any issues I come across will be addressed promptly, allowing you to follow suit in case you encounter any similar problems. Now without any further delay, let's jump into it. First of all, let's just quickly go through a few accessories that will make this whole process a lot easier. First of all, you can install everything on the internal storage of your Steam Deck if you want to, but I will use this 1TB micro SD card that I will format so it's completely empty. And depending on where and how you store your games, it might be a good idea to have a USB-A to USB-C adapter like this one. This allows us to stick a USB-A thumb drive into our Steam Deck's USB-C. However, this won't be an issue for me as I have all my games and ROMs stored on an external hard drive. And this drive actually has a USB-C so it's basically just to plug it in and transfer my games. And lastly, I highly recommend that you get yourself a wireless Bluetooth keyboard and a Bluetooth mouse as it will make everything so much easier. Plus, it won't interfere with any USB ports on your device. And now is also the perfect time to format your SD card if you haven't done it already. So stick it in your Steam Deck and click the Steam button to bring up the menu. Then go into Settings and under Storage you can see that my SD card is not visible because I haven't formatted it yet. So scroll up to System and click the Format button. It will take a few seconds or maybe a minute depending on your SD card, but once it has finished you're now done with the preparation. And once you have your accessories sorted, click on the Steam button, scroll down to Power and click switch to desktop. And once there, click the red fox icon in the bottom left to open your Firefox browser. Or actually it will take you to Discover, which is basically an app store for Linux. And from here you can click install in the upper right corner. Wait for it to install and then click the launch button when that appears. And when it starts, you can skip all these initial settings and click the address field in the top and type mudeck.com. This will take you to a site that looks as if Valve themselves made it and you can read up on Emudeck and what that is. But what you want to do is basically to click on the download button at the top and it will take you to the different downloadable versions. The one interesting for us in this guide is the Steam OS version. So click the blue button under the Steam logo to download the Emudeck installer. The download will just take a few seconds and once it's done, drag the file from your downloads folder to your Steam Deck's desktop. And after that, launch the file and click continue when prompted. By doing this, Emudeck will fetch the rest of the installer and launch the application. And now you can choose whether you want to go easy or custom mode. I recommend that you go custom mode as there are a few tweaks that you might want to choose yourself. At the next page you can choose if you want to install the emulators on a micro SD card or on the internal storage. You also have the option to install everything on a custom directory which is useful if you want to install everything on an external hard drive or if you have a dock with built in SSD. But as you probably have figured out already I will use a micro SD card in this tutorial. So I'm selecting that and proceed to the next page and here I have to choose if I'm on a Steam Deck or an Ambernic Win 600. And now we have to choose which emulators to install, and even though I'm only gonna install a single Wii U game in this tutorial, which is played through CMU, I will install all other emulators I might need in the future as well. But don't worry, you can always go back to the Emudeck installer in the future and install new emulators if you need to. And once you're done choosing emulators and go to the next page, you can also choose to have Emudeck set up the emulators for you. In basically all occasions, I would recommend that you let Emudeck do this for you. So just select everything and click continue. On the next page, you can choose to save and load states automatically when using RetroArch. So you can always jump right back where you took off. 
Retro achievements will add achievements to your old retro games. I recommend that you take a minute or so and go to their site and create a free account and then use it to log in in the Emudeck installer. It's a great way to add some spice to your old favorites. The upcoming pages are all depending on your personal taste. You can choose bezel art for games that won't fill up the whole screen as well as select aspect ratios and filters for certain systems if you want to. Click your way through the pages and then let Emudeck installer set up everything and complete the installation for you. The installation will take a few minutes and after that you get the option to prepare a USB drive to transfer your games. You can do this if you want and need to, but since I know what I'm doing and I know where I have my games, I prefer to do it my way, so I'm gonna skip this part. Now here I encountered my first real issue and this was giving me a headache at first. No matter what USB drive or external hard drive I tried, my new Steam Deck OLED wouldn't detect it. At first I thought I had to send it back to Valve, but luckily I came across a very easy fix. So if you also have problems with your Steam Deck not detecting your USB drive, follow these steps. First, turn off your Steam Deck. Then, while holding volume up, click the power button and keep holding volume up until you reach your Steam Deck's BIOS. From here, click on Setup Utility, and then click the Advanced tab to the left. Click on USB configuration and then USB dual role device. And here you want to change it from DRD to XHCI. After that, click save and exit at the bottom, restart your device and go back into desktop mode. And now when I plug in my external hard drive, my Steam Deck finally detects it and we can proceed with the tutorial. So now what we want to do is to move all the games we want, in this case from my external drive called external, to the correct folder on our micro SD card. To do that we just click the USB icon in the bottom right corner, then I'm clicking external and open with file manager. Then I locate my dump of Wind Waker HD for Wii U and drag it to my Steam Deck's desktop. And what I'm about to tell you now is very important. Some systems like Wii U and Nintendo Switch need specific keys to function. These keys can be extracted from a modded Wii U or modded Nintendo Switch if you have one in your possession. These keys are not legal to distribute as they are protected by copyrights, so I won't tell you where to get them. You're once again best off searching Google or Reddit for your answer. But the keys for Wii U, which is called keys.txt, needs to be put in the CMU installation folder on the micro SD card. So open the micro SD card called primary on your Steam Deck, then go into the emulations folder and then ROMs. Now scroll down all the way to the bottom and go inside the Wii U folder. Inside this folder you have another folder called ROMs and inside that folder you need to put all your Wii U games. Go back one step in the folder structure and put your keys.txt inside that folder. And once you have done that, you're done with moving files and now we need to use an app called Steam ROM Manager to help make our newly transferred Wii U game visible in Steam Library. So open up the Emudeck installer on your desktop again and from here launch Steam ROM Manager. And if you're not using an external mouse when doing this, you need to know that the mouse click on Steam Deck's trackpads will stop working when you launch Steam ROM Manager, instead they will be moved back to the left and right trigger. But if you use an external mouse like I do, you don't have to care about that. And the first thing you choose when you launch Steam ROM Manager is which of your installed emulators you want visible in the Steam library. I usually turn off everything and then select only the emulators that I actually have games for. I'm gonna select CMU in this list and then I'm clicking preview to get to the next page. You can always change this later as well if you want to. Once here, click parse and Steam ROM Manager will look up all the games you have put in every ROMs folder on the micro SD card and it will also download artwork for every single game. This actually works like magic and can save you days of work if you are a perfectionist who wants art for all your games. You can do a bunch of settings here as well, like choosing specific art or choose which specific game you want visible in the Steam library. But once you're happy with your settings, click on save to Steam in the bottom to add the games to your library. And now we're done with everything in the desktop mode. Close down Steam ROM Manager and Emudeck and click return to gaming mode on your desktop. Once back in gaming mode, click the Steam button and then library and from here go right until you reach collections to find your newly added Wii U game and click play. If you get prompted that the game needs Proton 8.0 or 7.0, it's because you, just like me, didn't update and install everything on your Steam Deck before you started the Emudeck installation. 
So go back and then click the settings cogwheel to the right, scroll down to properties and then compatibility. Here you can choose to play the game with the latest Proton driver and when you choose that the Proton drivers will start download and install and then you can just launch the game again. And that's actually it for my updated emulation tutorial for Steam Deck. We have learned how to install emulators and add games using EmuDeck and Steam ROM Manager. We have also learned how to enable USB device detection if our Steam Deck doesn't do that correctly. I have several other Steam Deck tutorials among my other videos, all of which are still working as of today, so make sure to check them out if you encounter any other problems during your emulation sessions. Now if this tutorial helped you out or if you just enjoyed watching it, why don't you show it by giving this video a like. Also comment down below if you have any questions regarding emulation on Steam Deck and I'm sure that I or some one of my helpful subscribers can help you out. Thanks a lot for watching, Tech Cravers out.